Hello, welcome to Zoologist Mohsen YouTube channel. Today we shall discuss sexual reproduction in ciliate protozoans that is paramecium. Let's have a brief look at the salient features of ciliates first. Ciliates have dimorphic nuclei meaning that they are heterokaryotic having different nuclei. That is a paramecium and uh, you can see a smaller nuclei which is micro and uh, a larger one that is uh, macronucleus. Micronuclei are abundant and reach to 80 in number in some ciliates. Remember this number. Macronuclei are polyploid with DNA as well as RNA. Both kinds of genetic material are present in the macronuclei. Macronuclei are involved in day-to-day -day functions like regeneration and differentiation etc etc. Ciliates can live without micronuclei but they cannot live without macronuclei because macronuclei is essential for their survival. Micronuclei are involved in sexual reproduction and that is our focus today. Sexual reproduction Ciliate sexual reproduction never have gametes. Don't mix that sexual reproduction with the sexual reproduction of higher animals or mammals. It involves conjugation, temporary association for exchange of genetic material that is conjugation simply. Following steps are involved in the sexual reproduction of paramecium or ciliates in general. Disintegration. What is disintegration and what does that mean? Disintegration of macronuclei. The first step in the sexual reproduction is disintegration of macronuclei. Macronuclei degenerates and disappears while micronuclei undergo meiosis to form four haploid pronuclei. They are not limited to four in number. If uh, micronuclei are excess in number, then the respective number of new haploid pronuclei will be produced. And imagine that if a cell has 80 micronuclei, how many pronuclei would have before going for sexual reproduction? So it is uh, necessary here to eliminate such excessive number of uh, pronuclei. Most pronuclei disintegrate, but at least one of the four divides by mitosis to form identical haploid pair of pronuclei. If that is the formation of identical copies is necessary because when the cells will exchange their pronuclei with each other, if they don't have the copy at home, they will miss their traits or their genes as well. So there is essentiality that uh, they must have uh, two identical copies of each pronuclei which is to be exchanged. Exchange When two cells come in contact for conjugation, one micronuclei from each is exchanged. So at this stage, one or two or three or several micronuclei depending upon the type of organism can be exchanged. So they exchange the one copy which they have made from each different micronuclei through mitosis. After exchange, the next step is the fusion. Migratory pronucleus which is from the other cell and home pronucleus fuse with each other to form syncarion. Very important term to understand syncarion after separation from each other. So the fused new nuclei are called as syncarion. So these are syncarion having a diploid chromosome number because both haploid pronuclei are fused with each other to form syncarion. Now these syncarions undergo mitosis to form one or two macronuclei while rest into micronuclei. So that is the step for differentiation. When many syncarions are formed, few of them will change into macro while the all the rest will change into micro depending upon the need and number or nature or type of organism. 
after this differentiation cytokinesis then follow to new cells having different genetic makeup each new variant can then begin the life cycle again as we started from the start Thank you so much. That was it uh, about sexual reproduction or life cycle, sexual life cycle of paravicium or ciliate protozoans. Thank you.